So the final kick we're going to look at is the uh, most complicated, complex kick of the lot. It's the spinning hook kick. We can just, as with the back kick, turn and locate, bring in if we want to crane stance, lift, 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 hook across and go back. We just turn around the back, sink our weight here, bring in, hook across and down. Bring in, draw up, rooted, and kick across, like so. Want to control that motion, don't want to swing out too early, we don't want to kick out there, we want to keep it tight, hooking across with power and control. Look over the target. Bring the knee in to a crane stance or cat stance. Look over, hooking across and back down. Maybe you land forwards, it's all right. You just bring the leg back and resume the original position. So we keep tight, look over the shoulder, locate the target, keeping relaxed, hooking across, draw that leg back in. So that was the hook kick. We can do a front hook kick without the turn. Bring that in, bring the leg in, to crane stance. Up here, turn out, hooking across. One, two. So it's the same idea, but we bring in, turn, hook across, attacking the face of the opponent, whipping across the target.